This is a great time to be a Republican in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Because the Virginia Republican Party does not hold a primary, instead holding a convention for voting delegates, State Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli, running unopposed, accepted his party's nomination for governor on Saturday. I humbly stand before you this morning to gratefully accept your Republican nomination in the race to be the 72nd governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Cuccinelli defended his conservative principles, clearly outlining his beliefs in protecting the unborn and the middle class. He added that he was the first attorney general to attempt to block the Affordable Care Act and says he will defend the Constitution. My plan will make Virginia more attractive to our job creators and our innovators empower middle class families and reform our state government to make it smarter and more efficient. Cuccinelli will go up against former Democratic Party Chairman Terry McAuliffe in the November general election. One of the most exciting things that I've heard about even just from people on the street is they're really interested in his education plan. So there's a lot to be excited about for Terry McAuliffe and his policy. Cuccinelli's acceptance of his party's nomination is another step in moving the Virginia GOP party forward, something Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal stressed repeatedly Friday night. But as a party, we've got to be all about growing the private sector economy. That means education reform, that means more domestic energy production, that means blowing up the tax code, that means getting rid of the loopholes. It means a whole host of policies where we're arguing on the private sector. Also taking the stage Friday in support of Cuccinelli was incumbent Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell. McDonnell touted the state's 5.2 percent unemployment rate and the thousands of jobs Virginia has created in the last month. The Republican Party is controlling the ideas and the issue agenda in Richmond today because of you. Cuccinelli will have his work cut out for him over the coming months as current polls show a dead heat between the two candidates. For WashingtonExaminer.com, I'm Steve Doty.